Welcome back to Unbelievable in Kalgoorlie and I'm going to take you on a little ride trip down to Esperance, our closest beach to Kalgoorlie which is four hours away. Um, yeah, we, it is quarter past five in the morning which is why it's still pretty dark and we're pretty excited because we are going all by ourselves without taking the whole family and um, we always intend to get a lot of fish from down there. So we'll see you soon. Just getting ourselves some fuel from Puma at the moment. It is crazy expensive here. Um, I know that it is nothing compared to over in New Zealand, but it's definitely gone up so much. Uh, and we have our Land Cruiser that is a long range tank. So luckily it's not a whole whole tank as I just filled it up from Perth but oh my gosh let's see how much it's gonna cost us $97 at $2.25 a litre at this minute but it is still predicted to increase a little bit more. We'll see you on the road. like three hours and 59 minutes because I drove faster than Nana over here. Popsies drives a little bit slower than I do and I'm proud of that. <laughs> so we're in Esperance and we are just going to pop into our into the bakery. Um, there are there is more than there is more than there are more than one bakery in Esperance however I think we all go to the one on the main strip here because it's bigger it's probably nicer I think is it nicer it is yeah it's not cheap but it's still nicer and it's owned by Vietnamese so it's got that Vietnamese kiwi bakery type feel to it and we'll come back with our yummy pies Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. And 
see what I mean by it just looks like a New Zealand style pie. It definitely does. Good. That is good. How good? Real good. <laughs> I got myself a chunky steak and, and you have to specify chunky steak in Australia or else all steaks and this is really interesting when you go to a pie that doesn't have chunky steak and you say a steak pie it's actually a mince pie and so if you go mince and or steak and cheese like what Rooker just got it's not chunky steak and cheese it's just a mince and cheese so I got chunky steak which means that the steak pieces are actually a bit bigger um, I won't bite into it yet uh, and I also got myself a donut and it's a custard cream donut so they've mixed the custard with the cream and a filled donut and it's so good that's pretty much my usual is a chunky steak and a custard donut it's hot it's hot hot mmm <laughs> not like a dark gravy it's a light gravy and it's full of flavor and it's got a little like this just amount good amount of like pepper kick to it and I'm yet to find the chunky steak though but it's in there um, as day one would say it's Boston <laughs> Boston Boston Right, so we just was driving to the toilet and then I saw a big little teardrop, big little, <laughs> a big teardrop sign saying a growers market that we've never actually been to in Aspirants because we've never been here on a Saturday morning early enough. So we got here early enough, we're going to check out the growers market. We don't know what's actually in here. Um, Rook is going to sign me in because I don't even have my phone. videoing for my YouTube yes oh, and we come from um, Kalgoorlie but I've never actually been to I've never seen this market so oh, yeah. I love markets yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Please, can you hold it? ready to go. I have got rod holders. Let's see what we can do today. Well there you have it, that is mine and Rooker's overnight trip to Aspirants. I hope you enjoyed watching all the things that we get up to while we are there for the day pretty much. 
Um, we do enjoy our fishing quite a lot, but I know that there are plenty of other things to be done while in Aspirants. If you have never been before, or um, if you have, if you need something to do and you're planning a trip to WA, please make sure you put aspirants down on your to-do list, as it is totally well worth it. We always make sure that we make a few trips down to aspirants while we li while we live here in Kalgoorlie. Um, please let me know if you have been to aspirants. What is it that you do love doing in aspirants? Whether it is sunbaking or swimming or reading your book on the beach or fishing, um, hanging around at the jetty, eating, drinking, whatever. Um, let me know what you love to do there and I really truly hope that you do make a trip out to Esperance. It is only four hours away from Kalgoorlie here. I say that with a big smile because it is, it is only four hours. Um, if you did enjoy watching this video also please make sure that you like, subscribe, share and tell your friends about um, all my amazing stories about where I live and I truly hope to see you soon in Kalgoorlie because it is a great place to be. Thank you very much for following and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Believable in Kalgoorlie.